Hello, hello hello and welcome back to Timber One. Since we decided in the previous video that we will be covering several aspects that we were lacking in. Namely, we will be building a hauling post, increasing our storage, moving our forest river to the other side of the river and improving our food production. So we will be continuing on all of these aspects as we get through because I think these are quite important things that we need to build and it will be quite important in the future especially the hauling post and the forest hut. So first of all we should increase our carrot production in some quantity. So I think a small increase to see how the viewers react and if they can handle this part or not is a quite important one. So we will increase it slowly by slowly and our gear factory has been finished but at the same time the power shafts are not and the final trade power shaft is remaining and as soon as that that is completed we can just move on to other points i think we should add another storage over here for the logs because we will be shifting the log forest in this side of the river we will require the storage so moving on to our second agenda we had the hauling post to be built and i think it's time to build it somewhere it just employs some of the beavers into the hauling post and those ones have a hundred percent additional capacity to haul anything what it directly means is that they can pick up the double amount of weight they carry comparatively to the other ones because they have some kind of back so i think this will be a nice place to put it we want it into the center of everything but they don't really operate from it but it will be good because we will be shifting the builders and other parts and i think that's a nice place because we are not building anything up there we can delete this large pile for logs but currently there is some log coming from uphill so we can hold it for that we can do it later on but it will be gone Okay, so on cycle to day 14, we are about to have another drought in about 3 days. I think our water situation is quite good. We have the dam that is procuring all of our water. Our water pump is working fine. The larger tanks require items that we currently don't have. So what we can do now that we can just add two extra smaller tanks. As soon as I get the gears from the gear workshop, I will try to upgrade it to a bigger one. And we will have another water pump working. Because water is one of the most crucial things in this game alongside with food. If we don't have either of them, all our beavers are going to die. Over here, we should add some kind of gatherer hut to gather the dandelions because in the last episode we had our beavers getting hurt so they will require medicines and medicines are made with dandelions but we currently don't have any kind of structure for that hygiene here will be making our gathering flag and someone will gather all of these dandelions i think he will anyone will gather around half of them after that it will have its storage full but we will not be worrying about it for now because we don't have a healing hut for now and that requires some items we will be making the healing hut later on not currently so it's not a problem so while the drought is coming we are we have enough food i think and the water situation is also good but our planks are not as good as I want. But at the same time they are not producing enough energy to have all these things working for the efficiency. We also need to add storage for the gears because if we don't add any kind of storage then the workshop will just clog up when it has its inventory full. Moving on the, to the uphill part we are doing pretty good I think. But at the same time, we will require to have another staircase up there. And while we are at it, we should just mark the trees to be cut down. Because we will forget it if we don't. And not this one. Although it will require another staircase. 
So the hauling post is 75, 76% done. And I think we will have the hauling post. It will just make everything more efficient as the beavers are currently, when their in inventory gets full, they leave their post to do any work and just haul all of their wares to the storage house. And they're decreasing our efficiency. So to get on this part, we will require to make some shortcuts because directly from there, we will not be able to get around it. But I think we have a very good connection over here. You can see the lines are barely getting red now. And on the other hand, we had a full red lines. And I think they won't be able to make any kind of things over here. So we can now put the forester hut. I think that will be a nice place. Yeah, that seems to cover a lot of area that we require. So that's the position. And I think it's a good position. We can have some kind of work on this side also because if we add dandelions and chestnuts and all the other things we will require the forester hut to work on that part and if we connect it to directly here we have a loop over there so we can go from either side but oh the stick is not built yet so it will not be considered so we can just extend the patch over in this side for the carrots we are suffering from a lack of logs because a lot of our buildings are not being built because we have zero logs. What are you doing my friend? We have zero logs and we have some over there. We can prioritize these to be collected first and as carrots are planted these are just thrown around here and there. And to build basically anything, we will require a lot of log. But first and foremost, we require these water tanks. Because we are about to have a drought in about 1.8 days, we are in extending your working hours match. We have a currently 20 hours working day. That seems a lot, but we need it. Oh! they are not able to get to the back part so yeah as soon as they are done over there they will not cut the trees behind that's a problem i think we should make new lumberjack flags over there because we all currently are not doing anything great about our log situation it is just in single digits for a long time so we are at the final day of our regular cycle because a drought is about to come in 0.8 days Two of our water tanks are completed but we don't have enough water in them and I would like to have a hundred percent water in all of our storages. So we can see the productivity is about 84%. It usually was about 60-65% earlier without the hauling post. So it is a good thing but there is still room for improvement. And we are above 50% of capacity. So that's good but we will require maybe 100%. So it is day 16 and the drought has started. Let's check it out. So it is there and if we go in the fast forward. Yeah, so we have I think sufficient amount of water for now. There is an injured beaver again. So I think we should just pause these buildings because if we don't pause these, they are, they are not quite efficient. Although they are working currently at 94% but as soon as the wind flow decreases, we will not have any amount of power in it. I think we got a mission for the next one. We have to make that gravity battery. As well as I remember, it is needed to be built at higher altitude. So the forest uh, hut over there is completed and we have quite a long range in this because we have a route from this side. Okay, so the beaver over here has nothing to do. I think we can just add a lot of trees. Maybe birch in this side, maple on the other side. So where is birch, 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 birch? Yeah. This side of the road will have birch trees and the other side we can have maple trees. After that I think we should add a patch of dandelions over here. And we can also add some chestnut because they produce chestnut that we can eat. And I think this is the range. Okay so we have another column over here that we can do. So 
I think they are done. They cannot do anything else. So we need to add more lumberjack flags uphill. Maybe three of them. Will they be obstructing them or not? I don't know. That will be a thing that we can see in the future. But I don't know if they will obstruct the movement or not. Okay, so these are getting built. Okay, so they cannot go, I believe. Yes, they don't have nothing, anything to do. I think we can just destroy one of these. Yes, it's all right now. So that is some kind of bug, I believe, because although the range is fixed, it is still showing that there is nothing to do in the range. Drought has ended and we still had water for us. That's a good thing. But I believe we will require to build any kind, some kind of dams over here in this part. So the water is rushing through. And you can see that wave that is coming. And these wheels are running quite fast. We can just unpause all of these buildings for now. But I believe we have a quite important thing to build in the next episode and that is that gravity battery. So the productivity of the water pump has increased to about 95 and that's pretty much as high as it gets because it is quite rare to find anything at 100% productivity. Okay so we have finished with all the logs uphill and we can add some scavenger flags over here to gather some of those metal. So you will be wondering that we can just leave metal for now. Why do we want it now? But I believe it will be quite great for this one. Because for building any kind of machinery like, I mean any good working machinery that we will require any future projects. We will require a high amount of energy. And we are producing energy in the night time but we are just wasting it out. So as soon as we can get to this, we will be able to scavenge the scrap metal, turn into metal bars. And then we can just make gravity batteries that store power for us that we can use in the are industries later on okay so they have done all of those but they are not removing these blueberries they are not in range maybe i need to make some more roads that make it more closer so as we extend our path are uh, they now yes now they are working so i think that is about it for this episode but i believe we had built our holy post we had kind of increased our storage but there is still some kind of storage that we need to increase we have done our forester hut and the food production will be booming soon so i think in the next one we will be trying to make that gravity battery so we can have more energy at all the times and maybe even during the drought season because the lack of energy during drought season is a problem. So I will see you guys in the next one. Bye bye.